Jonathan, the potential for AI consciousness has hit the public square. Many people who work in AI assume that AI will eventually become conscious. A few think it already has, but most would reject that. But there are very few people who work in the area who would say that consciousness as we have consciousness is, in principle, not possible with AI in a non-biological medium. You've given some thought to uh, how uh, you can uh, uh, infer consciousness from data sets in, in the world, mostly in living kinds of organisms. Uh, how would that apply to AI? Well, I think there's the real possibility, in fact, this is my hunch, that the kinds of patterns that we'll see associated with biological consciousness uh, will not be observed in AI in the same way. So the particular way in which we see the synchronization, cross-frequency coupling, and coherence between different information systems that we see in biological systems, that's not the way that these uh, AIs work at all. And I think it's very important to distinguish between uh, intelligence and right. consciousness. AIs clearly have intelligence. It's not at all clear to me that they necessarily have uh, consciousness or that the kinds of metrics that we may use to infer consciousness in biological systems will apply to AI, at least not to AI as they're currently uh, being formulated. But uh, if you have a definition of consciousness or a, a, a capacity to uh, uh, induce consciousness through resonant systems of, and, and synchronization, various uh, techniques, those can all be uh, manipulated, uh, th those are all physical. And so at some point you would be able to recreate that. It may be a totally different uh, structure of, of, to produce AI, but those are certainly duplicatable uh, with advanced te technology as you exponentially grow, maybe not in the 10 or 20 years that some people artificially talk about, but, uh, but maybe, maybe in a thousand years. Well, it, it's certainly possible, and I would not want to dismiss the possibility that we'll be able to make uh, purely uh, material systems uh, have, uh, have consciousness. Possibly, this would be aggrandizing some of the things I'm thinking about, uh, following the principles of resonance that we've been uh, considering. But I also think it's possible that um, these resonance systems are also tapping into additional uh, dimensions of physical reality, as I've speculated this subjective time dimension and that these AIs, even though they're uh, operating in these in, in objective time, may not have any uh, momentum in subjective time. So I think it's possible even if you had systems that were emulating the uh, physicalist, uh, physical properties of the brain, that it still might not necessarily uh, produce consciousness. And if that were the case, if that were the case, you're not saying it is, but if it were the case that that would not be possible because an AI system is not able to access subjective time and, 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 and it can as it goes through objective time, why would that be the case? Well, we'd have to have a better understanding of what it is that propels us through subjective time. And um, it's possible there are some things that we may just never be able to get a full handle on. So it, I, that would be unfortunate because it would be really cool if we could get a handle on that as well. But it, I wouldn't want to rule that out as well. Um, but it, it may just be a, sort of a brute fact that uh, some things are able to move in certain directions that other things uh, are not. And, that, and, and the things that would move in that direction would be l living things, but wouldn't that, wouldn't that sound a little vitalistic that there's something in life that's not in non-life? Well, you know, uh, routinely researchers suggest that we thought that there was something special about life and, uh, and then we uh, just solved it all. Right. And, they uh, use that and say that we're going to solve consciousness. Yeah. Because that's I'm a not so sure answer. they've solved life. I, <laughs> I actually think that, in fact, they may not have solved life, that life may actually be capturing, maybe it's all living things have figured out a way to get momentum in this subjective dimension. I mean, they've solved life, but they haven't created life. No one has actually made a, a, from purely inorganic materials created, created life. I think that life and consciousness may be more intimately connected than we recognize, and uh, that vitalism may have a comeback.